Hi everybody, Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. We're going to do a proverb, Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 7. The wicked are overthrown and are no more, but the house of the righteous will stand. Let's say that again. The, the wicked are overthrown and are no more, but the house of the righteous will stand. Now, overthrown and are no more is opposed to will stand wicked is opposed to righteous now see how it's got the house that's putting the righteous as a collective group whereas the wicked seem to be in a um, form of uh, disunity as it were you've got the house which is unity you've just got the wicked are overthrown so they're in confusion of some kind and are no more, but the righteous will stand. Now, how is a wicked person overthrown? That's something that we need to ask ourselves, isn't it? How is a wicked person overthrown in a New Testament application? I'll tell you how. Well, let's find out. This could be one way, but thanks be to God, who gives us the victory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now what's he give us the victory over? Our wickedness. Our wickedness is overcome when we turn to who? The Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God for that. What other scriptures have we got here? Death is swallowed up in victory. Death's overcome in our Lord Jesus Christ, isn't it? But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So the wicked are overthrown and are no more when they turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't that wonderful? But the house of the righteous will stand. Let's find a passage for that. Let's turn to Galatians for this one. Christian liberty. Stand fast therefore in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. And do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. So when you stand in the liberty of Christ, right? Because we're trying to, um, where is it? Stand, but the house of the righteous will stand. When we stand fast in the liberty of Christ, when we know for 100%, when we are assured and can go and have a cup of tea or some fairy floss, or maybe some hundreds and thousands of bread. I don't know. What do you like? Um, when you stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, then guess what? The house of the righteous is standing. Isn't that wonderful? The wicked are overthrown and are no more. When? When they turn to Christ. That's when you are exchanging your wickedness for righteousness. That's when you go from overthrown to standing. This is Dr. Jason W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Bye for now. Yeah, Dr. Jason Morrison, Theologist again. I just want to say thank you for watching the videos and I uh, hope you got plenty of uh, self-rediscovery and freedom out of it. If you watched it on YouTube, please share or like. Um, Maybe even comment if you watch it on Facebook. Like, comment, share. Um, but most of all, get out and live. This isn't a rehearsal. You've got a one of life. Don't let your loyalty and your faithfulness blind you to the life that you should be experiencing. Till the next video, thank you for watching and bye for now.